I, I really think we have. Um, again, this you know the the behavior. We've talked a, we've talked a lot about behavior and culture, um, um, independence. We haven't talked about IQ at all. We haven't mentioned it. Um, and uh, uh, hey, if you can if if you can find your way around Omaha, you have high enough IQ. You know. <laughs> and so um, it's all of those other elements, uh, playing a different game, courage of your conviction. Um, focus investing is a high conviction activity and, uh, uh, and everything, everything spills out from that. So what I try to do as chief investment officer at Wedgwood is to bolster all of those key elements that the team is engaged in 24-7. And, uh, and then they bolster me as well because they've all bought into it. So it's, uh, uh, again, it's, you know, we've often, we often get the question at Wedgwood, well, you guys are managing, you know, you know, four, five, six, seven billion dollars in assets and you only have four people on your team. Well, I mean, that's all we need. You know, like I said, we bought one new stock last year. Now we added to some and we trimmed some, et cetera. But, um, uh, being a focused investor is also recognizing that that new ideas are not automatically, you know, plopped on your desk every day that you go in on a Monday and do a screen. Uh, it doesn't work that way. So uh, um, uh, it's a big advantage. If you're an active manager, why play the game everybody else is playing? I mean, Charlie, Charlie Ellis wrote about this decades ago. Uh, and that's also b- between Buffett and Munger and, and Fisher and Charlie Ellis, Bogle, uh, simplicity. Again, th- these are the foundational elements of, of our investment philosophy. And we, and we try to enhance those through, uh, through being focused. Again, as, you know, focus is an, can be an edge if properly applied. And then at the end of the, the beginning and end of the day, if that edge is repeatable, well, now you, gotta, now you have an interesting argument, an interesting uh, debate.